Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. A few days ago, I had posted a video where I showed the unboxing and setup of my new Aero Garden Harvest. If you haven't seen it yet, I will leave a link to it in the description box below. After I had already ordered the Aero Garden Harvest, I came across a listing for two smaller Aero Gardens on the Facebook marketplace. The lady was selling it for $30 total, uh, that is for both, and I thought it was a pretty good deal. So these machines are the Aero Garden Sprout LEDs, and uh, online they are sold for about um, $99.95 each. But sometimes uh, Amazon or the Aero Garden website itself offers them at a discount for around uh, $60. So if you're interested in buying one, make sure you keep checking the price online. So what exactly is an Aero Garden? An Aero Garden is an indoor aeroponic and hydroponic system that you can use to grow fresh flowers, herbs, small fruit, vegetables and salad gardens all year around. It does not use any soil, so there are less chances of bugs being involved and it is also less messy. The plants are said to grow faster than when they grow in soil. These Aero Garden Sprout machines have energy efficient LED lights that can be raised or lowered as your plants require. The bowl and grow deck has three slots to put in seed pods. You can use any of the Aero Garden pre-planted uh, seed pod kits or you can grow plants from your own choice of seeds. What I like about this Aero Garden model is that it has a viewing window where you can check the water levels easily. Before turning on the machine, you must add water by opening this Aero uh, Garden water port cover and filling it up to the level mentioned on it. For this model, I have used about a little bit more than four cups of water to fill it uh, for, for each uh, machine. Before you add the water, if it is a used machine or if you have already uh, used it to plant some crops, you need to clean the machine thoroughly. As per the instructions, you can clean the machine using a mixture of water and chlorine bleach or a mixture of water and uh, distilled white vinegar. I have uh, used distilled white vinegar to clean this Aero Garden. Uh, you can just follow the instructions that come with your machine. If you want uh, more detailed instructions on how to clean your machine so that you reduce the risk of root pathogens, uh, leave me a comment and I'll uh, get back to you with an in-depth video. Since I bought these Aero Gardens secondhand, they didn't come with uh, any seed pods or nutrients. So I'm planning to grow gourmet herbs in this Aero Garden using the seed pod kit that was in, uh, included with my Aero Garden harvest model. So in this seed pod kit, you get six seed pods uh, that are pre-planted uh, and have herbs such as curly parsley, dill, Genovese basil, mint, thyme and Thai basil. You also get six grow domes and a bottle of liquid plant food. I'm just going to open up the box here. So these are the seed pods. It comes with an instruction booklet on how to use the seed pods. Uh, this is the liquid plant food. Um, I also, I'm planning to continue using the liquid plant food that I already opened and used in my Aero Garden Harvest. Uh, I'll be using them in these machines and I'll keep this one to use after that bottle gets over. These are the grow domes. There are six of them. We'll just open up the package.
make sure you check the package to see that there are no seeds that have fallen off and are in the cover because that happened to me when I bought the heirloom tomato seeds. Um, so you can see each seed pod has a name uh, and uh, of the plant. So this is dill and it sprouts in 8 to 21 days and it is a tall plant. So you need to keep these labels so that you know what plants you are planting. You can even write the date here that uh, on which you have planted the uh, seed pods. This is a grow sponge and the seeds are already inside this grow sponge. This one is the Thai basil and it sprouts in four to seven days. It is also a tall plant. This is the thyme. It sprouts in seven to 14 days and it is a short plant. This one is the curly parsley. It sprouts in 21 to 28 days and it's a shorter plant. This one has mint seeds and it sprouts in uh, 6 to 10 days. It's a medium plant. This one is the Genovese basil. It sprouts in 6 to 12 days and it is a tall plant. Now I'm going to add the liquid plant food to both these aero gardens. According to the instructions that came with the seed pod kit, the three pod gardens need one capful or four ml of liquid plant food at the startup of every garden and every two weeks after that or uh, whenever the add nutrients lights come on in the machine. So these are the add nutrient lights. These will glow whenever you need to add nutrients to your garden. So let's see how we add the plant food. You need to open up the water port. Shake the plant food well. So one cap full goes in this machine. And one more cap full goes in the other machine. You can uh, rinse out the machine with some water in case the nutrients get stuck to the side. Mm -hmm. Now you can pop in the seed pods. So I'm just getting ready to put on the seed pods. I, um, so according to the aero garden, you need to put the taller growing plants at the back. The medium plants can go in the middle and the really shorter ones go in the front. So I'm going to put both the basil pods in at the back. This one is the Genovese basil. That goes at the back. This one is the Thai basil. That's also a tall plant, so it goes in the back. Sometimes the sponges keep uh, floating, so you need to push them down slightly so that they get wet. The dill and the mint will go in the middle. And 
the thyme and the curly parsley will go in the front because they are short plants. Now I'm just going to pop the grow domes over each of these. Um, the grow domes are so that um, there is a mini greenhouse effect created on each seed pod and it will uh, kind of mist up as the uh, garden keeps running. It does not snap in place, they just uh, clip onto the seed pod. And uh, try to rotate the gardens if they are not sitting properly. I've plugged in the arrow gardens and you can see how bright they really are. The lights will come on when you plug in the machine and they will stay on for about 16 hours to mimic natural sunlight. If you want to change the time at which they come on, the booklet that comes with the machine has detailed instructions on how to reset the lights. Now my herb garden is complete. The setup is done and I can wait for them to germinate. You can see all the different pods here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment if you want me to make a video on how to clean the arrow garden and to share other tips on how to care for them. I'll be sharing more videos of the progress of my aero gardens. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so that you know whenever I post new content. Thank you.